All right, here we are, folks, at the Dorchester Copper Mine. Um, just outside the Dorchester area in Dorchester, New Brunswick. So here we are as Nova Scotia mine hunters cheating outside of our province, but uh, this one was too, too good to miss. Uh, we've got a little bit of uh, water coming out, but it's fairly low from the pictures I've seen in the past from, there's a geocache stored here and everyone takes their picture in front of this mouth. So this has been a raging brook at times, but uh, it's not today. All right, here we are heading into the mouth. All right, and yeah, we're in the mouth, in from the mouth about uh, 80 feet here and we're finding this mound. Oh, is that the, uh, the shaft up? Yeah. People put trees down it. Okay, here's looking at that shaft that's about 100 feet inside the mouth that goes right up through the ceiling and it just goes right up into the forest. There's looking back at the mouth. All right, here past the uh, the hump and this the uh, shaft going through the ceiling, it is it does begin to get watery. We can't really see where it goes because it's so misty in here. Look at the look at the flashlight beams. But he's venturing ahead to check out the depth of the water. Are we okay? Hi. Is there more water up ahead? Okay, he's gone down ahead of us to, uh, to check out the depth of this water just to see what we're dealing with. Okay, what are you finding down there? The water is a little less deep where I'm standing. Yeah. And there's another dirt pile that looks like it goes further. All right, we've come in about uh, 250 feet here now. We just uh, managed to get through all this water. We've thrown, uh, trying to protect our wet feet to the wind and uh, we're basically gonna go with wet feet in here. But uh, up ahead, uh, where he's at, we've reached land. And uh, a stove and land. A stove and land. We've got everybody. We made it through the water. If you look down, it's still water below us, but the, the floor is kind of filled in, so a lot of planking and stuff up here. Everyone's just sort of playing balance beam and getting through it, but we're finding uh, that there's a, <clears throat> a lot of footprints here, as you can see. There's, uh, we're not the first people in this one. <laughs> so here's looking at the, uh, the wood planks over the water that we're trying to get past. We don't know how long this is going to last, but uh, yeah, this planked floor just keeps on going, folks. Look at this. They must have had this back in the, the days when the mine was active just to keep everyone's uh, feet above water because this is fairly much more watery than I thought, especially with the, uh, the mouth being so well draining there. The floor has become uh, logs. A lot of the planks that we saw back behind us are uh, now switched to this, but we're in our uh, rubber boots and continuing onward. Are we above ground yet up there? Yeah, we're going to get a very low ceiling coming up. Okay, ceiling's going to get low here soon. All right, here's what we're looking at ahead. Um, we're kind of up above water now, so this is great. And just looking down there. There's Ooh. something. Yeah, there's something. <laughs> I see timbers down there. Yeah, we're about 500, four, 500 feet in now, and there's still footprints uh, from other people that have been here well before us. So look at that. All right, we're still on a, uh, a false floor. There's a crack uh, showing the water below, probably about a foot deep, but all this mud is on top of the, uh, the logs. You can see them again up here. They reappear again, broken through. And the boys have found some workings up here. We finally, after going straight for so long, there's some stuff. Here's the graffiti on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? I'm, I just spotted it here when I was looking at the graffiti. Uh, GSC 1962. All right, we've come into some crazy workings here. The boys are already further along than I am, but uh, we've got uh, some dripping water, some stoping up into the ceiling there, and there's a little labyrinth of logs to get through, but uh, I'm gonna head up through there. 
Right here we are in a stoped out area. We're still in the same drift tunnel that we've uh, been following thus far. Um, but it keeps on going, but we're in this uh, mess of what looks to be a collapsed ceiling. And here's the, uh, those logs from the other direction that I came through. We all came through. It's like an obstacle course here. And there's our drift out with the big hump in front of it held up by all those logs. All right, we continue. The boys are again up ahead of me and there's uh, some spray paint snakes adorning the wall here, as you can see. Someone had some fun, but again, we're still probably six, 700 feet in at this point and uh, there's still signs of life. And uh, there's my boots. There's the floor all mud and rock, but again, it's proven to still be a false floor. <laughs> there's a hole in it to the water below. All right, the boys are stopped again. And another sort of ceiling has collapsed to the floor situation. <laughs> and yeah, they are looking ahead because there is a, uh, what did you call this, the hairy canary? There's an aura card or something, right? There. I know, There's, we're looking at stuff up ahead, but it looks, it's getting hairier in here, but. Uh, all right, we've come into a huge room here, and I see wood planking. What what are we looking at here, boys? What's your theory? It looks like a chute of some kind, maybe? An ore chute? I see pipes and stuff up there to the uh, up to the right. Isn't there working? I don't know. Yeah. Like well, let's walk forward and see what we see. It's Do a... we want to walk forward? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, he's heading under the Harry Carry. I don't see what right here. Yeah, we don't see any, suddenly the footprints end. <laughs> it looks like maybe the public didn't want to go past this, uh, this crazy collapse into the mine made of wood and stuff. Oh, he does, you're detecting a footprint, we're saying, okay. We're detecting footprints, so people have lived past this point. Are you uh, clear? He's clear, next, next. Oh, it's working. All right, we just came through here, through this little rat hole. Pretty low and pretty hectic, uh, with this thing on top ready to collapse down. And it is full of rock and shit. We're having a hard time determining what's, what's up there. We think it's a shaft that came down from the surface of some kind. Okay, we just left that rat hole down there, and just coming down there is a uh, big stoped out cavern here, just randomly up in the side. There's some uh, classic timbering here, yellow ribbons, and of course lots of collapsed stuff. Would, would you, what would you say this was? Uh, Top of a wheelbarrow? Yeah, it looked like that to me too. Yeah, he's gonna go up in there and check it out, see if it continues or what's going on. There he goes, folks. Okay, the boys are up in that hole investigating what's going on. They say it goes up into a large stope, and I may end up having to join them up in there in a second. All right, here they come. Yeah, this is a good lead. It's just like a bucket maze. Okay. And uh, and we see part of the, um, the upper part of the uh, of thing the, that came under. Of, of the wooden rat shit thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, all three of us are up in the stope now, and uh, we're getting. We've discovered, of course, that it does continue as they reported. Here's looking back down into the uh, the hole we came up through. About uh, seven, eight feet down there is the bottom of the original drift we came in. It's pretty amazing up in here. That's why they call it a maze. It's amazing. Right, there's looking over into an area. We've got a big area going down this way. Lots of stoping. This mysterious orange ribbon. Heads over. So it's just a little um, stoked out area, and then to my left is the uh, big shaft. Oh, the big wooden rat shit thing. Yeah. All right. Cameras are running out of memory. There's there's ghosts in the mines that just jinx all our batteries and memory. It always happens. Wow. Yeah, it's getting pretty mazy in here, folks. It's uh, lots of directions. 
And here's the side of the, the rat's nest thing that we had to come under out in the main drift. What in the hell is it? It's an orc. It's an orc, I believe. I don't think it's loaded on this level, though. And that is a ladder that goes up. It's missing some rungs, but he's gonna go over and check it out. What do you see? All right, here's looking up into the uh, where the ladder goes. And he's right, it goes up into like a chamber. People have gone up there though, I see some uh, inkings on the walls. Another ladder goes off into that direction, it goes way up in there. Pretty amazing if uh, there was some safe access up there. Unfortunately, we have three rungs at the top of the ladder and nothing to the floor, so it's only a dream above our heads at this point. There's another view up in there of the second ladder going up to a little platform. And way up, way up. Again, as we move along um, down the endless directions of tunnels here, there is a stoped out chamber in there with a big rock pile here in front of it, but uh, there's some graffiti down on the far wall we can see, but. All right, the endless drifts continue. And I'm hearing, holy fuck. He passed it. Oh, here. Okay. So look at this room we've come into. It's got a opening over there. Over there. All right, he's gonna go around there and check it out. It looks like it's all one area, but there's like a window there through the wall. All right, let's take a look over through this window. Oh, I see. That's amazing. So there's this... Uh, drift goes down and continues over that way with this nice straight cut walls. There they go. It just keeps going, folks. Oh, yeah. All right, over from the window, I'm gonna head around this way and follow where they just did. So, downhill it goes. And they're down here off this ledge. Wow. Wow, she's big in here. I've come down, there's the uh, the window up there. I've come down here, and here's the drift at the bottom that they say goes on quite extensively, so I'm gonna come down here and have a look. Oh my lord. Yeah, this is getting uh, <laughs> very complicated. Wow. Okay. Yeah, just, uh, it's huge rooms in here. Oh, gross. There's like a dead, I don't know what this is. A beaver? There is like a bottomless pit there. You can only see the ledge of uh, where the rock edge ends and then it just goes down to depths you cannot see with the light. But it's uh, very extensive still. I mean, to the point where we're starting to just let things go here a bit. Um, there's another dead beaver over in that corner. We don't know where the beavers are getting in, but they're just, uh, they're slowly being uh, covered by mold and moisture. I'm not gonna go over near that one. The, the smell is uh, outrageous here. There is another uh, water hole of death. Just uh, logs go down into the abyss. This just goes on and on. Now there is, uh, you know, some modern bottles here. People have been down in here. There are lots of footprints, but like I say, this just uh, cavernous, 
cavernous, cavernous down in here. There's that, uh, there's that beaver from another angle. More tunnels and drifts. Just incredible, folks. These are huge stalled areas. And uh, I've never actually been in them because they've never been this big and I've never wanted to crawl in them, but these ones are a good five, six feet tall. All right. We're gonna go have a look at the graffiti. This is that room we saw earlier that had the green graffiti in the distance. Drifts just, uh, that's where we came from. Scrabbled over that pile. This just goes off in so many different directions. DJ Straight M Slippy 2007, July 1. So Canada Day 2007. For once, we've come to a, an end of a drift. <laughs> so now we can, uh, turn back uh, for once and, and start going in some other directions. All right, we're exploring down what, like the 20th different drift direction <laughs> that we found. Uh, this is pretty extensive, so. It goes. Yeah, there's all these planks that go across here on this one. A lot of, uh, like, like he was saying, a lot of ceiling caving coming in from uh, Coming down, sorry, from the, the top of the uh, ceiling down to the floor here. All right. He's through. If you look up here, you can see where the, uh, the rock falls have stayed on some boards above. And we're gonna have to go through here like a little tunnel. some water. No dead beavers. Nope. No winds. It's a confirmed end. Oh, it's a confirmed end. Well, my God, another end. Ends are surprises now because these just go on forever and ever, so. Just incredible. Starting to smell animal smells again. There's probably another dead beaver or something down in here. Do you guys agree with me? You smell it? I... Yeah, there's an odor in there. Yeah, there's another dead animal in here somewhere nearby. It's just getting crazier. Nope. Look at these logs, just tree-sized timbers holding up or attempting to beam the ceiling. Just keeps going, folks. Absolutely amazing. What are you seeing? Coal. Coal? Right there, or something black. Could be rock. Or another dead beaver. Yeah. <laughs> no. Petrified one, that is. Scared, so step to rock. All right, it just continues on and on here, so let's go take a little walk. Wow. Yeah, this is a lot of stall, stall stoping down in here. That might end up to the uh, area where you were. It is actually, yes, I've been down here. That's why we're smelling the beaver because there's a dead beaver over in that corner. Okay, so we've kind of come full circle down to the, the lower level where we were. All right, here we are back at uh, the main drift where we were coming from the, the mouth. And we're at a four-way intersection. People have been here before for sure. Lots of graffiti from 2007 there. 
There's kind of back where we discovered uh, the lower level from up above, it came back down, and uh, here's the continuation where we haven't been yet, so... It just keeps on going! All right, we're going down yet another drift that we haven't explored yet. And there's little ties here and there, but uh, let's see what we discover up here. Is that a beer bottle stuck into a hole? All right, I guess we found a right turn. see where we're at here. What's this danger? Well, it, this is just a continuation of down below. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, it's like a ledge. I see what you're saying. Right. All right, let's go up in there. We're in a area here with lots of stoping and so on. Huge, huge room that just keeps on going. Let's take a peek over here. Wow. There's even more over in there. Just keeps going and going. All right, I'm standing up here on a, on a mound. Again, a huge. <laughs> Huge ongoing room with these uh, sort of beams they left of the stone holding it up. Again, here's just another look from one side of the room as best as I can show it, but uh, it just goes on and on as I turn around here. Big flat ceilings, and I can see a see a shoot down there so let's go down and take a look hey right, he's coming down here's the uh, that ore shoot oh yeah I didn't see that one no I didn't either oh. copper are you copper in the ceiling copper in the rocks in the ceiling look at that All right, the boys are heading out that way and over here in a corner we haven't looked at is a couple more ore shoots. Go down here and have a look. Yeah, they're down there where the ore shoots come down. And over there. Okay, here's down at the bottom where those ore shoots came down. And there's one over here. Yes. Now, would that be a period piece? <laughs> or is that something that came in from the outside world? And there is the third ore chute over in here, coming down to the lower level. This one's much more intact. continue along. We don't know how much longer we've got. There's this sawhorse here in the middle of the floor. But we keep going. Finding some stuff here, signs of at least the end of this drift. It says last sample and 1964. This is interesting. And Philip Jason down there, which I don't think has anything to do with this. <laughs> All right. 2007. Is there any old mining marks up in here? No, not really. Just. ID on the wall there. A lot of 2007. This place was hot in 2007. <laughs> I think it's all the same crew though. It was all green spray paint, so.
in the arms of an angel. I don't know the words. <laughs> Sleep well, poor little beaver. You came in and you couldn't make it out. It's a fucking shame. There, I cursed for the video. In the arms of an angel, moldy beaver. All right, we're back on the main drift, just to stress, the main drift that comes from the mouth. And we're just uh, continuing, because there were so many offshoots and mazes, and we're back here again, that uh, we're just going where we would have went, and of course, dead a dead end. But uh, that looks like a... There's water coming out of there. There's a water coming out of that. So the pool. Yeah. Must be a spring here. Spring going into it or something. Yeah. Crystal clear underground spring water. Yum yum. All right. So we continue. There's some uh, wooden tracks, <laughs> which we've not seen before. Like so. Look at them go. We're getting an announcement of a dead end. Well, we've got some graffiti on the wall saying the end is near. All right, from the end is near, we've got some little side stoping. Tunnel down that way, and a huge cavern this way. Fork in the road. The boys are down here ahead of me. I thought you said it ended, did it? It ends up here? My God, it's massive. Oh yes, and tons of graffiti. Everyone makes their mark. Yeah. And of course, some celebratory Coors Light at the end. And I love this, if you look closely, <clears throat> the cold certified is actually lit blue because it's so darn cold in here. <laughs> and here at the end of the drift where they just end like this, there are dynamite holes, if you look closely, where they would have put the next set of sticks. Look at those. But they stopped, they decided not to go any further. All right, we've basically determined that we've seen basically the whole mine, except from a couple holes that went up with some ladders and stuff, but uh, we are beginning our, uh, our exit of the entire mine, so we're heading down the main drift here. Let's go. Oh, by the way, it's like 10 p.m. at night. We're going to be coming out into pitch darkness in the forest, so we'll see you there. All right, here we are, we're out of the mouth. Here comes the boys. And it was a wet and sloppy walk there for most of the, uh, the exit, but uh, it has to be done. And being what, 10, 30, 11 p.m., isn't it? Is anyone? 10, 30 p.m. at night in the forest here <laughs> at the uh, Dorchester Copper Mine. We, uh, we bid you farewell. Uh, with a special ending similar to the Blair Witch Project. Ah! 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 Ah!